Right you guys, today I'm going to show you how to uninstall multiple Windows programs at once. Now uninstalling Windows apps one by one can take quite a lot of time, but I'm going to show you a way how we can do it all in one fell swoop with this program. So if we go into the Windows apps area here, inside here, and go for install apps, you'll see there's a bunch of apps inside here. Some of them you can uninstall and some of them you can't. Now we would have to go through here and do this one at a time, but I think we'd all agree that we'd want to do a bulk uninstall of all these applications. Now, the longer you go without weeding through all your unnecessary outdated applications and programs, the more they pile up on your system. And of course, this will also take up valuable storage space and also slow down the system. So we're gonna use a bulk crap uninstaller. And this is a program which we can use to uninstall all of these applications in one go. So let's go ahead and download this program here. There's a download section right here. I'll leave a link in the video description. But you can see here, it's a really powerful tool that's gonna to allow us to remove every trace of this program. It's also got an installer and a portable app, depending on whether you wanna install this on your computer. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded and we'll get it installed onto the system. So I've got this downloaded here. I will leave the link in the video description for you. I'm gonna click yes here to continue. Now it gives us the option to do a standard installation or we can do a portable installation, which means basically it's not gonna install all of it onto the computer. It means you can run this from a USB flash drive. So I'm just gonna choose standard installation for this video. But again, you can choose whatever option you want for your uh, particular install. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a desktop shortcut here and then go ahead and click on install. This will install the program for me. Now, once we get this installed on here, this is gonna give us full control of every application and program that's installed on this computer. So it's gonna do a scan on our computer and generate information so we can see what files are attached to what programs, and it's gonna allow us to remove all of the remnants and the program from the computer. So you get a choice of languages here. I'm leaving this as default, and there's a ton of other ones there to choose from because default is English. Let me go ahead and click continue here. Now you get some uninstall uh, list view here, so you can check mark whatever you like. If you wanna see check mark boxes on here, you can do that also and add check mark boxes. If you don't wanna use check mark boxes, you can just highlight every single one you want to remove and it will remove it. But I think check mark boxes are the way to go. So let's go ahead and show uh, uninstallers marked as system uh, components. And you can also put some other check marks in some other useful ones here like protected files and other things like that. Let me go ahead and check mark these up. Might as well just check mark these and move on to the continue section. And now we can go on to continue here. I'm going to leave all of the rest of this as default here. And you've got some more settings on here, but I'm going to finish up settings and move on to the next step. You can say never show this uh, window again. That's good enough. And now we can see this is the actual application right here. Inside here, you can just check mark which ones you want to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and start check marking some of these and you will see some of these are Microsoft Corporation uh, programs as well. So be very careful on which ones you want to uninstall, but I'm going to go for all of the programs that I've got on this system. Now I'm going to go ahead and check mark all the programs that I want to get removed here, but there is some advanced operations up the top and some basic operations, quick filters and some other stuff on here, which you can use. But I'm just going to keep this nice and simple and go through and check mark a lot of this stuff here for quickness. You can see here, I'm just gonna go in inside here and check mark all of these applications because I wanna give it a test to see whether it can remove a lot of these. So I'll speed this process up and uh, we will get to the end where we can then run this and see what happens once we go ahead and uninstall all of these applications. Now, most of the time this program can do an unattended uninstall of all the applications but there will be just a slight few uh, that have got a built-in option where it wants you to you know be there and click on a few buttons to make the uninstall uh, go through especially antivirus software and things like that but you'll see this in more uh, detail a bit later so let me go ahead and check mark some of these related to applications that you want to uninstall so i'm just going to quickly go ahead and click continue here and I went too far there. Let me go back one and check mark these. There we go. Click continue. And now we can check mark some of the other ones. So you can see here, you've got an option to 
you know, remove everything basically and do a quiet uninstall as well if that's what you want to do. So let me just go ahead and uh, check mark these. Now, some of these won't be, let you check mark them. Any applications that are running that might need to be closed first, you can kill them all just like this and it will take care of these and kill that process so we can basically uninstall them. Once that's done and we've killed all of these off, we will then be able to continue because you don't want these running because sometimes it will interfere with the uninstallation. So let me go ahead and look here uh, for the options and that's pretty much okay. And now we can begin the uninstallation of all these applications that we've got checkmarked. And there's quite a few of them, you know. So let's go ahead. Now you can see here the malware bytes wants you to intervene and do a bunch of different stuff. But once you've got to a certain period in the uninstall, it won't need your interaction whatsoever. It will just take care of it all for you. You can see here now there's only leftovers left on the system. Do you want to do a scan? I'm going to say yes here. And it will do a scan of our system and see if there's leftovers left behind. So let me just go ahead and run this leftover scan. And you can see it's found some leftovers here. And uh, confidence is good for some of these to be removed. And we can now leave these check marked. And it may leave some unchecked marked, which might say something along the lines of questionable. And uh, you can have a look at this to make sure it is related to exactly what you're uninstalling okay don't just go and uninstall it uh, you need to make sure that it is part of what you're uninstalling and then you can uh, check mark it and then once you've done that you can basically take a look down here and highlight them as very good good or questionable and you can put them in order so you can see which one's there once we've done it we can delete the selected and we can also now create a restore point because this is a risky part because we are deleting files from the registry. You can create one like this if you want to. For this video, I'm just going to skip this part, but you should create a restore point when messing around with deleting files from the registry. So let me go ahead and don't create, and I'm going to go ahead and remove those selected few here, and it's going to go ahead and remove all the leftovers. And there we go, right there, we've just removed a lot of this stuff. Now there is still some stuff on here that I want to remove, so I'm going to go ahead and check mark some of this stuff here and uh, go ahead and continue with the uninstallation process or a few other bits that I might have missed. So don't try and do everything in one go. I'm doing a tutorial here just to show you how it works. Take more time and look at some of the things that you want to remove, and then this will clear up some storage space on your system. Okay, so I've run all those now. They have all been removed, and uh, basically we are now at the desktop, and you can see how much storage uh, programs it's removed from this computer if I go back to the uh, apps area here inside the system settings you will see on installed apps it's removed all of the stuff from the computer it's removed the program and all the leftovers that were left behind and that's basically how you can bulk uninstall all your unwanted apps on any computer my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoyed this video just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.